<laughs> better do some work. Ah, oh, better add, eh? Instead of spinning your ratchet. Right. Yeah. So what are we doing in today's video, Gareth? I believe you're going to be uh, dropping the subframe, Dean. Why am I dropping the subframe? Because you want to look at uh, the inside of your engine. No. So, what, about right there? Uh, well, yeah, I cracked them off, but <coughs> these yeah. ones you want fully out. Okay. 16's on the mid on the front, 18's in the 18's middle. 18's fully out on the middle? Uh, not just yet. <coughs> so, before you go doing all that anyway, drop yeah. the nut off, and you want to take the downpipe off. Because when, yeah. when the back starts coming down, the engine starts coming down. Has the downpipe got to come off completely? Mm -hmm. Has it really? Yep. It has, not does it? I can leave it attached there. Okay. Surely. Yeah. You, you do what's best, mate, but I'm telling you now that dying button No, I don't. Will it not, can I not undo it on the V-band? <coughs> so if, say, if it hangs just to here, yeah. now that needs to come down and clear, because something's over here, over here, so you need to drop it down at an angle to pull it out. I'm gutted. What time are we at? It's uh, spanner time. Yeah, stop complaining and just. What time are we at? That's it time. I've got impact guns here, which would save a lot of time, but we're sorry, we're using it on another job. Oh my life. It's 10 to 3. It's 10 to 3. This car needs to be done by 6. Easy, smash on with it. Yeah? Yeah, easy. Smash on with it. Easy. Tell them what we're doing. We're, um, yeah, take a well, close look at the I'm, I'm filming. Gar oh, Gary is um, pointing in a in mysterious that direction, but you can't see any. So let me just get another torch again. Someone seems to have stolen them. No, no one's stolen any torches. So basically, looking here, this sun has never been off in its life. And the car's done 144,000 motorway motor miles, I was imagine. So, check the strainer. Yeah. I'm tempted to leave it. Okay. <laughs> but that's me. Yeah, but then you'll be like, oh. it, when it blows up. Yeah. So what are we looking at then, guys? Looking. Again, a sump off, which obviously on this one because it's a later one. It's luckily got 13 mil head they make bolts on it. Oh. Whereas really? the yeah, early ones. Oh. Are, uh, it's uh, T40, if I remember rightly. Talks. So, saving grace on this. Can't be. Let's get it done. Yeah, man. Yeah, so that trim needs Get to her done. Okie dokie, guys. Okie dokie. Yeah, I'll take your dance bottle off first. Yeah. There, I was just checking they weren't done. Yeah. Right then. Crack on with it, eh? Yeah. Dane? Hello. What was that in your hand? But the, it's a, the hammer. <laughs> that's 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 fiberglass. This V band's on good. Is it? Yeah. Hey, little pry bar on it. Yeah? I need to find it out. Right. That, that's a face and a half. Mm. It's a face of concentration. Mm. The bank clamp is off. Huh. With me, uh, it's just my. You like that, yeah, you like what, that? What, what have I got going on here? Do I just scratch my head? Have you noticed something, uh, Gary? I'm doing what you told me to say. Yeah. <laughs> Normally, we yeah. just do what the wise one says, doesn't it, really? Yeah. I mean, considering I'm a window cleaner, 
He walks around in dirty trousers. I should just do what he says, really, shouldn't I? I've too much holding, have you? These, these, dear, these, I mean. these are brand new. No. What are you laughing at, Steve-o? Uh, nothing. We've got Stephen in the house. Steve? We've got Brandon in the house. Yeah. What do you, what'd you think of Dean's <laughs> sub? Do not get me started on the... He likes, he likes my Saab. At the end of the day, it's, it's a Saab. It's not a Vauxhall with a Saab engine in it. Makes a change. It's a car from hell. <laughs> um, now we've dropped the dump pipe off, uh, we're going to take off the... Uh, I say take off, we're going to drop the subframe down a little bit. So you've got 16 mils at the back. To start with, we're just going to drop them down an inch. The 16 mils at the front, we're going to take take them out completely, and these same again. So uh, that should give us enough clearance when we undo all the bolts, the 13s on the sump, to pull it out. So we'll take this trim off now. Uh, Dean, wh yeah. why are we taking the sump off then? Oh, why are we taking the sump off? Yeah. Well. Uh, we're going to check to see if it's clogged up with carbon because when these are running the standard catalytic converter, the catalytic converter tends to cook the oil and uh, generally lack of servicing, uh, you get carbon build up in the sump. Um, and also it's good to whip it off just to get a look at the overall health of your engine. So basically what you're yeah. trying to say is the sump's going to be full of sludge. I'm hoping it's not going to be full of sludge. Uh, but you should always check. Because aren't these engines known for that? They are known for it, yeah. Uh, mainly so with poor service in there. Not really. Do we, do we know many people who actually service their car properly? I do. Except you. Yeah. I do. Gary, do you service your cars properly? Don't keep them long enough to service them. That's a good point. Half of you will know that we don't really keep cars for long. Another one bites the dust, as they might say. So, there we go. So you're taking that trim off, well, I'm just gonna so that you don't just break like, it, just so it doesn't snap it. Um, yeah. There is actually one vital thing that you need to do, actually. What's that? Well, obviously the viewers will be actually seeing Dean now, and I bet some of you actually uh, would have already been shouting at Dean already for not doing it. The sump's still full of oil. That it is. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to clean something up to collect my uh, nice Mobile One 1060 oil, which is still in here, supplied by Trevor Charlie Bibby with my nice car. Down to us, Welsh boys. Ooh, look at that nice, nice oil. Doesn't look bad, does it? It shouldn't do. So I've just whipped off all these 13 mils right the way round. You're gonna have to remove that shield there off the gearbox, auto box in this case, gearbox. It's a manual car because there's two 13 mils that are in there that you cannot get to unless you remove that. All right. So what we got there, Dean? Them 13s for they? Yeah. That's that's a nice noise, isn't it? Now let me just get this in here and then she should come. There we go. Down. There we go. Well on first inspections it's very Nice. What was I saying this morning? No, 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 no. I had a feeling. I don't care. Yours better it's, to be safe. It's peace sorry. of mind, isn't it? You should always take them off. Yeah, definitely. Um, regardless, because at the end of the day, um, it's not going to take that long to get no. this back together, is it? No. Hour and a half or so, probably, after yeah. cleaning it. Uh, I might have to get Gary to help me put the downpipe back on, <coughs> up on the flange up there. Yeah. Just because. Gary to help you put the flange on? Gary always helps me with the flange. What does she look? She looks quite golden in there, doesn't she? She looks very nice. Do you reckon? Yeah. It's not. It's not a sludge engine at all, is oh it? Oh God, no, no. I, I'm pretty impressed. Five um, torque bits. 
I think they're T25s, guys, but I could be wrong. And then once you remove this, you'll find two more T30 Torx bolts that will pick up pipe in. Now if Dean would be so kindly to give it a little twist to... Alright. What you normally find guys, there's no ring in here. So if your pickup pipe just slides out really easy, then obviously you're going to have uh, sealing issues with this, so we'll always replace that o-ring. That's when you can get oil flow back when your oil is nice and warm, isn't it? Yeah. So there is some, there is some deposits, deposits in there, but but obviously you need to sift through that lot there, really, don't you? That looks a bit like uh, it was that RTV or something. Yeah, that's it looks in a bit. There. It's a bit of the original, tiny, tiny little bit of the original stuff, I reckon. Yeah. But that's 144,000. Never been dropped for. That is, that's pretty impressive. That there was 60 quid. Right. So uh, to clean it up. I tend to use a standing blade to clean the surface up. You want to do the same on the engine block to get rid of all this grime that's on it. Just make it so it's nice and smooth. Great cleaner to clean this. Wire brush. Dean, you're going to need something. Why a brush? Thank you. Fortunately enough, this doesn't need much cleaning. But I've been known to see CDs that they can take like up to an hour and a half to clean them, can't they guys? Right. Some of these can take up to an hour and a half to clean them. Yeah. Just uh, uh, don't tell your missus when you put them in the dishwasher. Yeah, don't tell your missus when you put them in the dishwasher. Not that you've ever done that, Dean. Oh, I haven't. Look at all that sludge. Ew. More scraping, Dean. Yeah. I'm going to clean off the bottom of this as best I can. I say best I can. You should clean it perfect. I might do it best I can. You do it perfect. You guys do it. Perfect. So. Yeah, because you don't want to... I don't want to give people poor advice. No. And you don't want engine falling out your engine, uh, oil falling out your engine either. No. And I'm a window cleaner and I shouldn't even be working on cars. Do you, do you need something now? I'm going to need some sealant. Yeah, you're going to need some sealant. Let me get you some sealant. Thank you, kind some sir. Some sealant. Thank you, kind sir. Those are the cleanest hands I've seen all day. I can see that, Dean. It's clearly blue. Yeah, I want some on it. Was that Hylomar, is it? Uh, yes, it is. I think you meant to... Uh, a lot of people say you should use Loctite. Some brand of Loctite or something. 
Is it some brand of Loctite you meant to really use, Gary? Yeah. What is it? Me medium strength thread, thread locker, because you, you know. Thread locker? Yeah. Medium strength. Brand new. Would you like to be ready with uh, some of the finest 13 mil bolts I was passing you a minute ago? Well, it wasn't exactly. It was exactly a minute ago, was it? <coughs> this is not going to go as easy as it came out. Oh, you had that locating dial there, didn't you? You got it? Brandon, ever helpful as usual, being the uh, the nutty professor. Tighten them up, Dina. Yeah. You don't want to go too mad on them. They've got to be tight enough at the same time, so. I think that's tight, don't you? It's aluminium. Sorry. So we're um, just putting the bolts back in for the subframe, or rather tightening the back ones up, and the centre ones, and the front ones. Or rather, Obviously Dean is. We'll go back over these with a bar. When we're done. <laughs> you nice put the dump pipe back on. Dump pipe back on, all barred up. How many people do you need holding things, Dean? Yeah. Yeah, it should be good enough for you. They're going in nice. Lovely. <coughs> Don't forget to like and subscribe and stay tuned for more videos from Real Hobbies. Cheers now.